Welcome to my patio. I'm shooting out here today because I thought of a great DIY IKEA hack table made for your patio. Um, it's really easy. I did it very inexpensively. It looks perfect and I couldn't be more happy with it. So let's get right into it. So I'm using the IKEA LAC side table. This is perfect for me because my patio is not very big so the size was perfect and it was very inexpensive. I got mine in the as is section so it was only $7. The bowl I chose to use was the stainless steel bowl from Walmart. It's perfect because you need a bowl that has a big enough rim to be able to hold the bowl up in the middle of the table from the hole that we cut later on in the video. So what we want to do is cut a hole in the middle of the table. First you need to figure out the diameter of the smallest part of the bowl. You want to make sure that the lip is still about an inch greater than what the smallest part of the table is to make sure that the bowl stays in the table. So once you've found out the middle point of your table, hammer in a nail on top of the X. Tie a string around this nail and use the pencil like I'm doing to create a perfect circle. This perfect circle is exactly the size of the smallest part of my bowl. To start the jigsaw, I'm going to just drill a little hole in the outside of the circle. This allows me to put the jigsaw blade in the outside of the circle to begin cutting my perfect circle. So I went on Craigslist and I found this pallet wood for free. It's perfect, it may look a little bit rough, but once you sand down and take all the nails out, it's exactly what I needed. So now use the jigsaw to cut curved pieces to form around the bowl. It may take a while to figure out the calculations of how many pieces you need and the different cuts you need, but you should be able to slide the bowl in just like this and it should sit nice and flush on the table. So I'm using the PL construction glue. This is perfect for my project because I know the wood's not going anywhere and it really holds it in its place. Before I do anything like sanding or painting, I want to make sure that this glue sits under weights for about 24 hours. So after I cut off the excess wood around the edges and sanded it down really, really well, this is what it looked like. So these are all the products I use for my top coat. The finish I went with is called a whitewash. A whitewash allows the wood grain to show through and still adds a bit of color and protection to the top. To make a whitewash, you use one part water to two parts paint. For this technique to work properly, you need to work quickly. I used one plank at a time just to make sure that I was doing it quickly enough. You put on the stain with a foam brush, then you come back and absorb any excess moisture with the sponge. Once I let the paint dry for a few hours, I came in with this clear coat finish. It made sure that it sealed the wood so any spills from my drink or rain wouldn't penetrate into the wood. So if you notice, when you cut open an IKEA lac side table, it's actually just corrugated cardboard in the middle of the table. So since it is cardboard, I don't want it to absorb any of the moisture that comes from my bowl. So I made sure that I gave the inside quite a few good coats of the spray varathane to really make sure no moisture is getting in. So once everything's dried, it's good to go. Put the bowl in, add ice, add your water, and then add any of the drinks of your choice. This is an amazing way to keep your drinks nice and cool in the summer and you will never have to get up from your comfy spot outside on your patio.
Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe for new videos coming out very soon. I hope you liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!